piece for you. This one is a little different. I am going to tint some flowers. Um, and so I thought that that would be something interesting to see because you probably don't see that very often. Um, so, when you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today. Tell us where you're from. We love to know that. And over on Facebook, if you do me a great big favor and sprinkle this video, I would sure appreciate it. Um, and on YouTube, if you do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Um, like this video. It helps people see us. Um, I am going to make a casket piece in a double saddle today. And so when I say it's a double saddle, it holds two pieces of fresh floral foam. And it's just a plastic piece that it holds. Oh, Owen, Oops. I'm on that video oh, right there, you go over here. Well, now you got me all turned. Here, I'll fix it. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. You stink. Okay, so this is a saddle and it holds two pieces of fresh floral foam. I have taped it in with um, with waterproof tape, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so when they pick it up and they lift it over their heads, all the things, it's going to stay in place. Now for me, I like to tape it in different pieces. So I'm going to use one piece of tape here, one piece of tape here. So if this tape gets broken, it doesn't break the whole tape if that makes any sense to you. Um, but that is taped in. I'm gonna start out by greening it out with some, if I brought it in here, I did, some um, palm, which this is called Robolini um, palm. And so it's kind of lacy and feathery looking. It's a really pretty palm branch. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut that rubber band And then I'm going to take my knife, cut that stem at an angle, and stick it right into that foam. Um, Miss Helen Noonan says, glad I have caught your live this morning, ladies. Hello, Miss Helen. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, Gaetana says, hello, Moni and everyone. Beautiful fall day here in Rhode Island. Took a drive to look at the ocean. Oh, wow. What a beautiful day. I know that that's, that would be so nice. Hang on just a second. Sorry about that. Um, on YouTube, Miss Nish says, yay, I caught my first live. Hey, Moni, watching from South Carolina. Wow, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Kirsten says that we use that on Palm Sunday. Yes, it's beautiful. It's a really, really pretty palm, isn't it? Um, David says hello from Kansas. Hello, friend. So glad you're here. Miss Mary Beth says howdy, Monty. And good job, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Miss Vera Collins is watching from Maynardville, Tennessee. Hello, hello, hello. So we're just going all the way around and adding this greenery. Um, on YouTube, Maureen says, hello, Moni, early morning in Australia, and hello, Victoria. So glad you're here. I am an early, I'm an early bird myself. I like to be up early. I'm not. I feel, and Victoria is not. <laughs> oh, I feel like I could get so much done when I'm up early. I want to be. The few times I've done it, it was wonderful. It was nice. <laughs> huh? Well, but I go to bed earlier than you too. That That's has true. a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. I get more sleep than you do. Yeah. Or as much as you do. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Rhea Norman says, I'm getting ready for Halloween. I'm dressing as Wednesday Adams for work, and I'm handling, <laughs> handing out little pumpkin toys and toy spiders for the children. How fun is that? Send a picture. We'd love to see you. Okay, so there is our palm added to our piece. 
I'm going to back this camera up just a little bit. I'm afraid Owen got us all rocked a little bit so that you can see that a little better. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is tie a bow. So they asked that this arrangement has a bow in it. The color that the family chose is a turquoise color. This is called teal, but I always thought teal was lighter. Anyway, it's this color. This is called teal, and what is this called? Teal. This is teal, obviously. And I am confused with what turquoise is. Okay, so I'm going to make a bow to go in the center of this arrangement. I'm going to drop this on the floor. And I'm going to do this bow a little different so that I can show you how to pull the tails out so that they don't go in the cooler and get ruined in the cooler. This is called floral satin ribbon. It is just a um, cloth ribbon, but it doesn't have any wire. And um, it's pretty stiff. I mean, it'll make a really pretty bow. But when you go to put those tails you put it in the cooler with the tails long, it's, they're going to straighten out and not be lovely. So, I'm going to show you how we're going to be able to use the tails and still have it in this arrangement while we're designing. So, I am going to make about six loops on each side. Um, Mama Baker says, a record. I've caught you live three times this week. This looks as if it's a large piece. Looking forward to seeing it finished. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, <laughs> Miss Nish, thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I have my bow tied. Six loops on each side. That kind of looks like a mess. I'm going to take that wire, push it through that center loop. So right there is a little center loop, okay? Right there. I push that wire through the center loop, and I'm bending it down, just like that. And I'm going to take it and twist. And then I am going to fluff that bow. So I'm going to pull on those loops. says, I love that teal color. We yeah, had our is. living room walls painted in it. Ooh. Okay, so there's that um, teal color bow. I'm going to take um, that wire, and I'm going to take a wood pick, and I am going to wrap that wire right around that wood pick. Now, it doesn't have tails yet, but it's going to. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so there's my bow. I'm going to go ahead and nestle that right down into that foam. Um, Allison says, hey, Monia Victoria, I'm here. Love that teal color, very pretty. So glad you're here, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so there's my bow. Here's how we're gonna make our tails. We're just gonna take and make one long streamer. Just like that. And I'm gonna gather it right there in the center, just like that. I'm gonna use another wood pick. So this is a six inch Koei wood pick. And I am going to take that wire and wire those tails right to that wood pick. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that and just tuck it right there under the bow. Kind of place them where I want them, okay? And I'm gonna do two more on this side. Um, Miss Julie says, I don't like mornings because my nights are difficult with pain. Oh, I'm sorry. So it makes for a really long night, doesn't it? Tag gum. Sorry guys, lots of calls this afternoon. Okay, so there's my second set of streamers. And I just nestled that right underneath the bow. Now, I'm going to be able to pull these streamers out. They can always be trimmed up. So if they're too long, you can trim them up, okay? 
So there's my streamers. Now the reason I like to put a bow into my arrangement at this time is because I'm going to put flowers in that bow. So it's not gonna look like a bow on top of a gift. It is going to, um, I'm going to be able to put all my flowers tucked right in. Okay, next we are going to come in with some flowers. I've got green bells of Ireland. So I'm gonna use my bells first. And I'm gonna take that and pinch that tip right out. Take my knife, cut that stem at an angle, and push it down at the end. Take my second bloom, pinch that tip out. Now that's preference, you do not have to pinch the tips out. If you don't want to, you can certainly leave them in. No right or wrong, do that the way you please, okay? So I have bells on each side. Bonnie says, yay, I'm glad to see you ladies again today. I enjoy this so much. Hello, friends. So glad you're here. I'm going to put a bell there in the front. Um, Linda Jester says, can't believe I caught you live almost at the beginning. Hi, hello. <laughs> Love that teal ribbon. Hello, Miss Linda. Glad you're here. Uh, Miss Nora Hall says, thank you for your videos. They gave me confidence to design my first funeral pieces. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Eileen Ogden says, good morning from Brisbane, Australia. Just woke up and here you are. And here we are. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Mm -hmm. um, on YouTube, Miss Janice Sloan says, hello, girls. I've just joined you. What is this for? Miss Janice, this is a casket piece for a sweet lady. We've had a lot of funeral work this week, and I apologize that that's what we've shown you. Um, but it has been a busy week with funeral work. And then Callie's been working all day on um, little dance corsages. We got a little junior high dance. Okay, go in. That Callie has made. I don't even know how many corsages Callie's made today. And then we've got senior night tomorrow night. So we've been just busy, busy. All right, pink snapdragon. So they wanted um, greens and pinks and yellows and peach and then a little bit of turquoise. So we're our teal. So we're going to do that. I'm um, Sally Ray says swap to YouTube as speech was out of sync for me on Facebook. Oh, All good now. So glad. Sorry about that. Sometimes I wonder why that does that. Um, and on YouTube, Melanie Gomez says wedding weekend. Watch some of your videos for a halo refresher. Yay! They're a lot of work, aren't they? Halos are. So I'm just taking and stripping that foliage off that Snapdragon. And I'm really just kind of going around and filling in with some of this pretty pink. Julie says, I think Bells of Ireland give a lovely shape and color to designs. Aren't they pretty? I agree. Bells are so pretty. Um, Teresa Rust says, beautiful color ribbon. Love watching. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Marlene says, hello, ladies. She's watching from Louisiana, and she's wondering if you're going to make um, corsages tomorrow. Um, I can. I don't know if... if Callie has already prepped all of the corsages, but I can make one real quick. I could do it on a um, reel, if nothing else. I can do a quick, you know, a fast forward video. Now, if you want to see videos of corsages, I have tons. Um, and I can certainly pull those up for you if you're interested in really needing a tutorial. But I can, um, I can do a quick little video for you. Now these aren't fancy, fancy corsages. It's just a little dance for some young kids. Usually, what, I think seventh, eighth, and ninth graders. So they're not big fancy corsages. Okay, so there's our pink snapdragons. Next we're gonna come in with some solidago. And Miss Ria says, my husband Mark is in Germany again. I told him to text me since I'm watching you. <laughs> That's so funny, Miss Ria. Um, 
Melissa Jean says, hello girls, glad to catch you live. At Monty here in Quebec, generally the coffins are open. How is it in the United States? Okay, so they are open here in the United States, but the foot part is closed. So the um, the lid where, when the deceased is in the casket, there you see about this much of their body and their feet are, um, you know, under the, the closed part of the casket. So this would sit on the closed part of the casket. Um, Miss Marianne says, enjoy all arrangements, no matter the type, just nice to have a visit with you all. <laughs> so glad you're here, sweet friend. Miss Bonnie says, Monty, you make it look so easy, but I know better. <laughs> <laughs> So I am taking this solidago and I am just putting it here, there, and, and yonder in this casket piece. So I'm just kind of filling in with the solidago. Miss Vicki says hello from Canada again, ladies. Um, she's wondering what you're working on. We are working on a casket cover for a funeral. I actually just a little bit ago made a memorial piece for a cremation. And I want to say I did it for YouTube, so I don't know if it'll go up today. I don't know when Owen plans on posting it. It might have been the prettiest um, memorial piece that I've ever made. It was for a hunter, and it had um, turkey feathers, and it had the, I don't know what you would call, I guess the fanned part of the turkey feathers. Um, and then it had some deer antlers, but oh, I think it might have been the prettiest one I've ever done. Um, because it was just so perfect for a man. I just thought it was beautiful. Um, so Owen should, are you going to yeah. post that today? It is going to be posted. It'll be posted probably in an hour. Owen will have it posted in about an hour. So I ask your forgiveness about doing all funeral work this week, but you, sometimes we need to know what funeral work looks like, right? These are little pink spray roses. So I'm going to nestle those just all the way through this piece. Um, Miss Dixie is watching on YouTube. She says, hello from Wisconsin. I love watching your lives and your Facebook and YouTube videos. I just lost my boyfriend. He oh. lost his life in Ohio while driving the semi. Watching again gives me hope. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweet friend. I'm so sorry for that. Mm -hmm. We will keep you in our prayers. Mm -hmm. Miss Rona says hello and she hope all, all is well. Hello, Miss Rona. We are good. We're good. Um, Nish says, I love how that is coming together. The colors are very pretty. Aren't they soft? Really soft, pretty colors. And we have, for this piece, we have two matching pieces um, that I'm not quite finished with. I had started those and then it was time to do the live. Um, I've just about got those finished. I like putting the mums and some berries. Okay, so this is a peachy colored rose. We're going to tuck these in. They have been wired. What we did was I just took a tiny, about a, um, I mean, it was half of a half, so a fourth of a piece of wire, and just wired it just right there at its head. Um, we always wire pieces usually, so like this invitation will be tomorrow, and then the service Saturday. And so it's always important for this type of arrangement that you wire these roses because it's going to be out for a long period of time. Allison says, we don't mind all the funeral work, Monty. We just love seeing you design with all the pretty flowers. Oh, thank you, friend. Thank you. That yeah, was funny. Yesterday we made that cross, I mean that um, standing spray. And we had, to, not everybody just loved that. <laughs> and you know what? It's okay. It is completely okay. Um, but it was funny how we had a lot of people not necessarily loving that design. <laughs> Miss Diane says this is a treat for an afternoon. Oh, I'm so glad, Miss Diane. Thank you for being here. Oh, I love this peachy color. Miss Vicki says, um, both you and Victoria do such beautiful work. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Miss Julie says it doesn't matter what the work is. I love the time I spend with you each day. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Julie. Whoop, I'm throwing them all on the floor over here. Bonnie says, I feel like we're getting free classes. Wish I was smart. <laughs> Maria says, I know this is naughty, but I'm watching you and eating Christmas cake. Oh, goodness. Yummy. I'm going to keep dropping everything on the floor over here. Miss Margaret Lynch says, we put the casket spray on the altar steps during Mass and then put, in, put it in the hearse to go to the graveyard. So, is the casket usually closed um, during Mass, Miss Margaret? Or is it a fully opened casket piece, casket? Like ours has double lids, so it's two separate lids on the casket. Uh, Miss Janice says, I'm on Facebook now. YouTube was cutting out on me. You girls brighten my day every day. Isn't that funny how one went over to YouTube and it fixed? And it's so interesting, mm -hmm. all of this technology. Okay, so I'm just about finished with my roses. Again, these have been wired, so I'm just, I went ahead and prepped them before. Melissa, your English is perfect. Like, I, I really couldn't, I really didn't even, I thought you just spoke English. Um, <laughs> but um, she asks, on average, what are the dimensions of an open coffin arrangement? Oh gosh, I can get the measure. I can get a, um, a measuring stick and measure it really quickly for you. Um, this usually fits pretty well um, and it doesn't hang over into the coffin. I always try to be sure that it's not hanging too far into um, the coffin. And so this double piece usually fits really well and fits all the way on the end. Now this might need to be shortened just a little bit on those Bells of Ireland, but Usually this fits really, really well. So I'll, I'll check it really quick. Miss Heather said this is looking beautiful. 36 about here. I agree, Miss Heather, it is pretty. It's about four feet, roughly. From tip to tip, about four feet. Okay, high pericum berries. Let's go with our moms and then fill in with our high pericum berries. Okay, so here's the trick. So she wanted some moms, but she really wanted that turquoise color or that teal. Why do I keep calling it turquoise? So I told her that I had a paint, a floral paint, that I could tip these moms. So let's take all their little um, nettings off. So moms usually come with a little net just like this. And so the reason they come netted is because if I bump this mom, he's going to shatter and all his petals are going to fall off. So this little net will help keep his little head safe. So I'm going to pull all his nettings off. Miss Margaret says not opened in the church at all. We just have a full lid. Okay. Yeah. So at, at I'll show you a picture. I've got a picture. Um, a picture in a book. I'll take a picture of the picture <laughs> and show you what an open casket here in the United States looks like. But often it has two lids. It's got you know the top where it's open and then the bottom is closed. Um, Melissa says, thanks for the information, so kind. Of course, of course. So I'm just taking and removing those nets very carefully. Miss Mary Lou says, I'm liking the flowers with this teal ribbon. It's very pretty. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was their color. That's what they wanted for sure was the teal. Miss Eileen says this is coming together beautifully. Such lovely roses. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so here is some Design Master um, color tool. It is a teal blue 
Um, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to spray it into a paper plate because I'm going to tip these flowers. I don't want them solid teal um, because that's a lot. So I'm going to tip them and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spray paint right into my plate. I'm going to take my mom and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to dip it. And it's going to have, I need to tip it a little more. And if you look close, you'll see that little tip of blue. I don't want it too much because if it's too much, then it's too much. <laughs> Is that even a word? There we go. Uh, Melissa says, I collect those nets to protect my roses. They stay super beautiful in the in the fridge. Awesome. Never even thought about putting them on roses. Okay, so I'm going to tip each of these flowers. But I'm going to tip them one at a time. And I'm just going to nestle them right down into my arrangement as I get them ready. So again, I'm just taking that flower and very carefully rubbing it right into that paint. And again, I just want a hint. I don't want it to be overwhelming. Miss um, Vicky, the our YouTube, the our YouTube channel is Flowers by the Bunch. If you're looking for this live on YouTube, it's called Peach Rose Casket Piece Live. Okay, see how it has that little hint of the turquoise. Not over the top, but just a hint. Um, Rhea Norman says, when I made my balloon flower casket piece, I got to d go to the funeral home and measure the coffin lid and also the height of the parse so we didn't have an issue getting it in. Interesting. Miss um, Margaret says, yours is like a half door. Yes. Yes, it has like a half door. Uh, Miss Julie says, I wouldn't have thought of these colors, but this just looks beautiful. Why, thank you, Miss Julie. Thank you. You know, here, I do my best to just make the customer happy. And I agree, this is not something that I would have done on, on a normal um, day. It would have never even been something I would have thought of. But when they came in, they were adamant they wanted fresh flowers. And so it was two sweet ladies. It's their sister who passed away. And when they came in, I said, well, let me, I have some beautiful white moms. I said, what would you think if I tipped them with paint? And so I told them that I was gonna, t I went back there and I actually got one of these moms and I went ahead and did it for them. And I just sent them home with the mom. I actually made two specifically for the sisters and they were so thrilled. Um, they were so excited and so thankful that I was, they felt like it was just over the top that I would send them home with a flower. But they were so pleased and so I was so excited to be able to do something that was this extra special. And that's what they thought. They thought that this was just extra special for her. This was her favorite color. Oh, Miss Joanne. She said it's pronounced hearse. Hearse, it is, yes. Oh, did I not tell you I'm, that? I've been pronouncing it hearse. Hearse. <laughs> thanks. Sorry. And thanks, I'm Ms. sorry Joanne. I wasn't listening to you. I've never, <laughs> That's I've never, not nice. I've never read that word before. So, that actually takes me back to the third grade when I was in the spelling bee. And, and I did so well, and I got to third place, and I had to spell hearth. Hearth. Like and the I miss, fireplace hearth, yes, right? I, yes, and I spelled it H E A R T H, and I got out because because I think they said it was spelled H A R T H. Well, I can't spell cat, so there we go. <laughs> that's why I have you, Victoria. You and Jason. That's why I chose y'all <laughs> as my people because I can't spell cat. Are we going dark over on? There's another the one. Audience. So you can see it's just a hint of paint. It's not. Not a lot, just a touch. And it's getting all over me. Um, 
Miss Heather says, what a great idea. Learned so much from you with all your tips. I'm so glad, Heather. Um, that's the best part of doing these videos, though. It's because it's helping somebody, and I love that. But you could really do this with any color. Um, I, there's another florist in our town. She does beautiful work. She does this a lot with gold. Like if she's making a fancy arrangement, she'll take and tip flowers with gold. And it is so pretty. And she just uses like store-bought gold paint. Um, Laura Eaton asks, what is the name of your funeral book and where do you order it from? We have a flower shop in Erie, Pennsylvania. I tell you, these are kind of old. Um, I have one, there was a flower shop that was going out of, um, out of business and she was a member of Teleflora. So I am not a member of any of the wire services. Um, I've really never been a member of any of the wire services, but when, um, Miss Shirley was going out of business. Um, I went over and bought some of her older equipment and different things, and she had some of the um, the books. Um, so I bought them from her. But I'll run in there and look. I mean, she gave those to me. But I'll run in there and look and see. Um, I know I have bought some. I want to say I bought them from. I'm not exactly sure the name. I. I don't know. I'll go look. Miss Marianne says, the tipping of the moms will surely make the sister happy. So appreciate how you go the extra mile for your customers. Oh, and they love them, y'all. And they were so excited. I told them how to make them last longer, you know, take them and, and recut the stems and refresh the water and all the things. And y'all, they were so excited. They even came in a few days later and said, my flowers are still living. So what a blessing. You know, if it's something that you can, if somebody smiles, what a wonderful thing. That's the best part about um, working in a flower shop. It doesn't matter the occasion. Flowers are here to bring you joy and celebrate that life. And I love that part of it. <laughs> Miss Joanne, yes. That, that's exactly where my mind went because when I saw how it how it's how hearse 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 how hearse is spelled I thought it was like heart so that's why <laughs> but thank you I would I did expect it to be pronounced the same anyway but um Miss Shirley says the spray is so lovely the colors are absolutely beautiful thank you thank you so much it's hard for you to see that that turquoise in this um video but I'll take a up close picture so you can see it. Okay, so my flowers are in it. Now, to finish it off, we're gonna add a little bit of eucalyptus. So, we have some gun eye uke, and we're just gonna take and soften this casket piece with some eucalyptus. So I'm just gonna take it and break it into smaller pieces and tuck it right in. Um, Ms. Renovaz says, this piece is pretty. I like the bow color. I'll be sure and watch the one that will be up in an hour. I think you'll like it too. Now, it is very different. It's actually for a memorial service. So, there will be um, an urn for that arrangement. And so, the urn is in a wooden box, a pretty wooden box. And um, I have a, an arrangement back behind, which is a long, low arrangement, but it stands up pretty tall. And then we have individual arrangements on each side. Um, and so it really, it really turned out so pretty. Rhea Norman says, it's funny that you say vase. In the UK, we say vase. Vase. Vase, yep. We say everything wrong in the South. <laughs> yes. I think in America, too. <laughs> in America, that's right. <laughs> We just want to be different with our Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. And oh, we do like to be different. Miles and inches instead Everything of... Everything is different, <laughs> right? That's true. I don't know why we have to be confusing. Yeah, why couldn't we just be like everybody else? Um, Miss, Miss Joanne says, I love that you sent them home with the flowers. The local flower shop I use for all my flower arrangements gives me flowers when I leave. Aww. 
Miss Margaret Lynch says, Monty, no wonder those ladies thought you were special. You are definitely special to oh, us. Oh, Miss Margaret, you just love me. You just love me. I don't know how I got so lucky. <laughs> okay, so I have just about got my eucalyptus tucked in. I'm going to run in there and grab that book so you can see what a casket looks like here in the United States. Or... I mean, I'm sure it's all over the United States. I was going to say, definitely in Mississippi, it's what they look like. All right, so you can see how you can't really see that bow. I mean, it's nestled in there, and you see tucks of color, but it's not a bow on top of a gift. It's nestled in. Now, that's the reason I prefer to put the bow first, because then it doesn't look like I just stuck a bow right on top of a gift. It looks like it's intermingled with all of the flowers. And so that's what I really like about that. And honestly, these moms, I know that they're not for everybody, but they're really pretty. Um, and if they make the customer happy, that is the main goal. If this was something that sister would have loved, that's absolutely what we love to do, is that it's so important to make these individual arrangements perfect for the individual. Give me a second and I'll go grab those books. Yes, Miss Heather, you are live. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, John Henry. Okay, so I have some books and you could probably find these on Amazon. They're old, you know, like they're old, okay? I'm just warning you that they're old. Um, this is a John Henry Classic Tributes is what it's called. Now, I don't necessarily love the design so much in this book, but they give people ideas of color and shape, and I'm telling you, they're so worn out. Um, now, I don't know if you could see that picture. Look at how the bow is tucked right on top. It's not integrated into the flowers. So that's what I was talking about when I said the bow was integrated into the flowers and not just on top of a gift. Um, but this book has some really beautiful pictures and it just gives them a, an idea of shapes and styles more than anything. roses, but it gives you all the, the shapes and styles. Now this is what an open casket looks like. So see how the flowers are on the end of the casket and the casket's opened here? That's how our caskets look. Now Ms. Mary Ann asks, do you have the time to show us the spray that matches this casket? I do, I do. It's not got all its flowers in it, but I'll sure show you. So this is one where the casket's open and the casket piece is on the end. Now this is the Teleflora book. This is the one I like the best. Um, and it's all just, it's got sympathy flowers, but it also has the color schemes and you can open it up and it has all the different flower arrangements that you could have for a service. So it has a traditional spray, a casket piece, a heart, and then arrangements. But I love this book. Um, and how I sell a, a funeral, um, most often here in our town, we sell a funeral set. So we don't only sell the casket cover, we sell um, side pieces. So what that means is traditionally they're like standing sprays. So I sell a three piece set most often and they come in small, medium, large, and extra large. Um, I will break it up. I'll do anything you want me to do. <laughs> and I, what I mean by that is if you only want the casket cover, we will certainly only do the casket cover. If you have a flag on the casket and you just want a couple side pieces, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll do whatever the family wants. Um, so we're not picky. We're just happy to, we're, we're here to make you happy. Um, but I love the fact that this one has all the different shapes and sizes and colors and all the things. But this was a Teleflora book. It even has the numbers for Teleflora. Again, I was never a member of Teleflora. Um, I just got this from an old florist that she didn't want her books anymore and they have been wonderful. I bet you could probably go on eBay though and probably find some of these old books. But it has even pieces for um, 
urns, it has pieces for memorial services, it has different sprays, all the things. This is my favorite. Um, Sally Ray says, love that you tailor designs to the customer's requests. Good old fashioned service. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, in my personal opinion. <laughs> That's the way we do it. It's about the customer. It's never about me. And so when I show you arrangements like this or that spray that I did yesterday, all those things, it's not, I mean, most of the time, even with this, they give me freedom to design it how I would like. Most often they tell me the colors or they tell me the shades or the ribbon, all those kinds of things. And so when you see me add ribbon to a piece just like this, it's because that's what the customer wants. And that's important. It's not about me as the designer. It's always about the customer. Um, I'm grab that spray before you keep, keep, keep talking. Um, let's see, Rosemary Stark says, it looks lovely, just switched on. Is the other side the same and what's it for? It's for a funeral for tomorrow. Um, is the other side the same? Is that, I mean, it's basic, is it, would you consider that a one-sided arrangement? Um, it is prettier on the front side than it is the back side, okay? It is prettier on this side that you see than it is on the back side. Here's the standing spray that goes with it. Now, it does not have the mums in it yet. It does not have the berries in it. It does not have the eucalyptus in it. And that's right, isn't that it? Mums, berries, uke are the only things that this is missing. Um, but this is a matching side piece. And so, at the funeral home, the arrangement, this arrangement will be in the middle. It will be on the casket. And then these two sprays will be on each side of the casket. Um, Miss Irene Rover says in Holland we have a closed casket. Yes, and there are times in, in the United States that the casket is closed. There are times during visitation, most often. So a visitation here, um, and I don't know about all over the United States, but here often they will have a visitation. That, you got a question? That camera's about to die. Okay, is it? Often yeah. here, they will have a visitation where the casket will be open. You will come in and view the body, and you will sign a book and visit with the family. You um, Sometimes it is all in the same day where they have the visitation an hour before, and they have the service, and they do the burial. Now, this service will actually be done. The visitation will be tomorrow on Friday. They will do the service on Saturday and the burial on Saturday. So really, it just depends on the family and how they want to do a service. Now, um, this would be what we would call a traditional burial service. So it has, the body is present, um, the casket is present, there's a casket piece, all the things. Now there's also what we would call a memorial or a cremation service where the remains are in a box and we do a pretty arrangement for the remains. Did we go out? Well, it's I, all right. Should I just end this one? Yeah, just end it. Um, 